Welcome back to Pat and Go with Paul Browning. I'm your host, Paul Browning. Of course, I've got Mike Lewis. I've got Guy Girton. We were just able to do the high point, but we want to throw some flags. So this is flag on the play. So like always, uh, when we jump into flag on the play, um, it's whatever issues uh, from the past week that we want to uh, be able to um, dive a little deeper into and talk a little bit more about. Um, there was so much that happened this past week. And, um, you know, let me pause it even for a second. For those who are watching on YouTube, make sure we're liking and subscribing, KPPF, 1040 AM, and also Pat and Go with Paul Browning. Make sure we're doing that. Uh, but when it comes to throwing a flag, um, I want to start a little lighter. Okay. Because it gets a little darker right, the more right. we get yeah. into this. But I want to start a little lighter. Uh, the first flag I want to throw is on the NFL – for finding C.D. Lamb <laughs> oh, yeah. in the past five of six games, he's been flagged for almost $47,000 worth of penalties, basically, right? Mm -hmm. From uh, the taunting wave that he did um, at the end of uh, the Patriots game to his socks being too low <laughs> to his jersey being untucked. Now, this is a real thing, though, in the NFL. You know, when you are in your locker room, they have a poster that's set up that tells you exactly, like, okay, make sure your pants are tucked. Make sure you, you know, this is these are things that you have to abide by, or you will be fined. So, I'm not going to put as much on the NFL. I could put a little bit more blame on Ceedee Lamb as well because it is it is said, you know, it's clear as day, you know, how not to get fined for your uniform. However. That is something that I think the NFL should lighten up a little bit. Right. I mean, uh, the jersey's untucked. Are you kidding me? You know, seven out of the ten guys out there have their jersey untucked. So. There, there are guys. <laughs> pick, yeah. you, you know, there are so many guys that are losing losing money on Sundays over uniform violations that right. aren't even like, okay, he's wearing a different color shoe than he should be, or right. his socks are totally different color. You, you throw a football into the stands. Yeah, yeah. Okay, these are different fines, but mm. you know, man, like he's wearing the right color socks, right shoes. He, he, they're just below his knee. Give it up. Give him a break, yeah. man. Come I agree on. with you. I agree totally. That's, that's my flag. So is the NFL hurting for money that bad? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> exactly, <laughs> right? <laughs> Where does the money go? Yeah. <laughs> Mike, did you did you have a did you have a flag? Oh, I got a couple of them. All right. <laughs> you know <laughs> You know, I started the season with you, Paul. Yeah. before Guy joined us that uh, I was singing Von Miller's praises, mm. and then I wake up and find out what is going on. They're trading Von Miller. No, no. And I don't think Von wanted to go either. No. And, you know, the GM, uh, Patton, said, mm -hmm. uh, George, said that he didn't sleep before this happened. And yeah. if, the NF if the Broncos – we're winning more games. I think he said a couple of weeks ago, if if we were four and two now, maybe I wouldn't have traded. And I'm going like, what are you doing? So that's my flag on the play. And I got another one coming up. But what do you think about that? Yeah, I agree totally. His own son won't talk to him. <laughs> what, <laughs> what George Payton was saying. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Vaughn, actually, we haven't heard his name much uh, in playing. He's been injured. He's been hurt. Love Vaughn Miller. Hate yep. to see him go. He started off pretty hot, though. Did I want to say that because yeah. I will say he was – I think he was September's uh, player of the – defensive player of the month for the AFC, I want to say. He did. He, 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 did. He, he, he played pretty well. He hasn't been Vaughn Miller of the past, but – And he has been nursing that ankle and yeah. some other injuries, so I'm sure it's going to be the old Vaughn Miller. Yep. Sorry to see him go. I yeah, really me am. Too. Me but, too. But uh, we'll see you. I know this Kenny Young we got from the Rams – um, you know, he may just step right in there, and we'll see. Yeah. See what happens. And I thought it was interesting what George also said that he was trading him to a team that he thought had a chance to go to the Super Bowl. So uh, right. they, he he made he was trying to you know play up his decision well. For, well, you know what Vaughn said. I went to bed four and four, and I woke up seven and one. Well, I was going to say I, I think it, I think that has to do a little has a little bit to do with the whole trade situation. Yeah. I think it is a little bit of the Broncos looking out for him and say you know what maybe we can have him win. I want to talk a little bit more about that when we jump into under the hood, uh, but I. I think that's an excellent flag. Um, My flag, and we're talking Broncos, talking a lot about the Broncos, yeah. but you got an offense with, uh, what, 40 seconds left in the game. <laughs> just <laughs> kneel, please, just <laughs> kneel down three times. You throw a pass and you have two fumbles. Yeah. That's my flag on the play. I cannot believe that it came down to that. I don't know how much longer this Broncos coaching staff. Well, <laughs> I, I think they finished the season. I believe mm. I. My, it's my yeah. take. I think they finished the season. However, I don't know how much longer this staff may right. remain together because some of these um, – 
well, this, this, quest, it's questionable yeah. with yeah. It, this Sunday's game's a big game. It could be a turnaround the season type game. We'll talk more about that here in a minute. They got yeah. Dallas. That's a big yeah. one. Yeah. Now, I, I I think you were hitting on something else too when it came to throwing another flag. Right. I do want to talk a little bit about two other situations. One of them being Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Jeez. God. What okay. do you say? What can you say? So Aaron <laughs> Rodgers is not playing this week, um, and he may be out for you know he's gonna be kind of tiptoeing into next week because he's going to be out for 10 days. And the reason why he's out for 10 days is when you test positive for COVID, Mm -hmm. you have to be out for a certain amount of times. When you're vaccinated, you're out for a shorter amount of time than when you're unvaccinated. The issue is Aaron Rodgers at the very beginning of the season had said that, or at least implied Mm -hmm. that he was vaccinated. And that was not the case because he was uh, some type of, Immunization. I don't know how he said it, mm-hmm. but you know he was he implied that was he a good word. Implied he implied that he yeah. was vaccinated, and the NFL has a certain code. Hey, your vaccination is either that Pfizer, Moderna, or the mm-hmm. you know, Johnson mm-hmm. and Johnson. That's vaccinated, and um, Aaron Rodgers did not have that, so he is out <laughs> for this week. Um, do you guys have any thoughts on that one? Yeah, well, it's like the Drew Bledsoe, Tom Brady thing. Mm. Bledsoe goes out and Brady gets his chance. Well, you know, and that's history. Jordan Love. Now you got Jordan Love. He's I mean, have an opportunity. He, he step into the spotlight. Yeah, we'll see. I just uh, I saw a couple of commentaries about this, and people were really upset. Uh, what I saw because they felt like there was dishonesty. Yeah, maybe not an outright lie, yeah. but. You've got to believe your teammates. And, you know, when you talk about COVID, let's be honest, we with some people, that can be life and death. So yeah. it, it's a serious subject. And, you know, should he have done a better job of being upfront and honest in his status? Yeah. Right. Like you said earlier, if he's not being honest with that, maybe what else right. is out there? Right? Yeah. 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 So. And so just to top on it, to, to, I know that's a pretty serious subject there, but we're going to jump into one of the most serious subjects of the entire week. Um, unfortunately... Just a terrible story. Henry Ruggs over the weekend um, gets in a car accident because mm. uh, he was driving drunk under the influence um, and kills a woman and her dog um, in Las Vegas. Uh, one of the super tragic moments, the lady was, uh, she was 23 years old. Um, Henry Ruggs is 22. And a three-year-old child. And a three-year-old, yeah. The do- yeah. So, so. It's such. This is very tough to talk about because obviously his mistake is made on the largest scale ever. Mm-hmm. So a lot of things that I have been seeing, and I can say I could throw a flag on Henry Ruggs, obviously, because that's just is inexcusable. We're, we don't we don't drink and drive. That's not something. That, I mean, it's it's something that we've never condoned. We we don't condone it now. And we just never will. So um, it, it's it's something, it, it's such an issue that, and it's so unfortunate that this has happened. Um, I'm going to let you guys, if you have anything to say. And, and I, Well, it's just, it's very, very sad all the way around. And what a promising career. Yeah. Uh, number one draft pick, what, mm-hmm. number 12 overall? Yeah. The one, the guy that the Raiders wanted. Yeah. And uh, what promise. And I just, I feel for him. And it was a bad mistake. And I guess 156 miles an hour. Yeah. Uh, when, when it hit, so obviously he, he doubled the alcohol. I guess uh, I don't know all the particulars, but yep. uh, it's sad for him, and it's so sad for that uh, girl and, and her, and her family. family. Yeah. yeah, that's just yeah. 20, 20, 23 years old. She was 23 yeah. years old. That's so. Yeah. It's life changing. My thoughts are that I hope other people, what's done is done. Yeah. But I hope people will look at this and realize bad choices have consequences. Yeah. And nowadays, there are so many ways. Th- there's Uber and uh, Lyft and ride-sharing services. Yeah. So, and obviously with an NFL player, money's not an object. It's not. So yeah. take, take that, I guess if you're intoxicated, your thought processes don't work, but make those decisions yeah. if you're going to be out. Partying. And that's and that's one thing I, I really want to touch on. This is if, if we can uh, just to close out the flag on the play because this is such an important thing and especially what you just said. We talk about him being an NFL player and how money is not an issue. I think we need to take that out of our mind mm. because it should never be a consideration when it comes to money. Yeah. If you can make that decision, 
If you can't drive, you can't drive, period. If you're impaired, period, you've made that decision when you went out that night and you were going to drink that that's not something that, that you were going to be able to do, drive home. So I do want to I do want to talk to those who are on the Internet, who are bashing um, Henry Ruggs. Yeah, he's going to get exactly what he deserves. Mm -hmm. He's going to lose his entire football career, all the money that he could have made, all this fame, stardom, whatever. But even bigger than that, he's got blood on his hands that he did not mean to do. And him being involved in this DUI does not make him a bad person. It's a terrible decision. And the reason why I say it doesn't make him a bad person is because anybody who decides to step on behind the wheel and drive when they are drunk, you can make that, you can make that happen. You can take a life. That is so real. The moment you step behind a wheel and you are intoxicated, you can't, you are capable of that. So I just wanted to end on that. That is such a serious topic. I, there's no need to try to talk about how bad of a person Henry Ruggs is for that because he's not a bad person and he, he's going to get what he, what he what was coming to him. But that's just something that just we all should learn. Couldn't have said it, but thank you, Paul. That was great. We're going to come back with uh, Under the Hood. This is Pat and Go with Paul Browning.